have you ever had a sex dream about me? Yes, I have. Okay. You were at the photocopier in the South Melbourne office being all sexy. <laughs> you were just photocopying things. Pretty raunchy sex dream with photocopier. <laughs> I'm Jaden, and this is my best friend Eric Michael. I'm Miguel, um, and this is my best friend Sandra. We met at work. We used to work at a clothing store together, and we bonded over being very charismatic and crazy. Mostly um, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we should have a shirt before. We start yeah, we should. Let's yeah. do that. Yes. Shit. What was your first impression of me? Intimidating. Okay. Like you would walk into the office and you'd just be there early every morning telling people what to do. <laughs> but a good impression. Well, that, that was my job. Yeah. <laughs> what is the biggest difference between us? Probably our 10 year age gap, I mm. think. When we walk around together, people would either think you're like my big brother or like... Or her captive. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> my captive. Have you ever called me a bogan to someone? Yes, to um, uh, Rebecca. A bogan mean to you? A bogan is someone who is from regional areas, <laughs> uh, rural areas, and um, they probably did not go to uni or their education. Oh my god, they're gonna hate me. But I, I, I don't consider you a bogan at all. Well, I am a little bit. Well, you don't speak like them. Hot probably bogans. because you're educated. Maybe. Are you smarter than I am? Yes. Like 1000%, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's the grossest thing you've ever done? The, the grossest. grossest. Reaming somebody? <laughs> <laughs> That's not gross. <laughs> Pick one word to describe my dating life. Dickheads. Dickheads. I hate them. <laughs> What's the worst thing you've ever heard someone say about me? Hearing my ex partner say derogatory things about anyone of color really made me very angry. It, indirectly, I feel like it was about you as well. It was too much. Fuck him. Yeah. What is something I don't understand about you? <sighs> that's, that's a hard question. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm thinking of something, but it may not be what you're thinking. What is it? Loneliness is there. It's not having someone. Why it hasn't worked out? Like you're a beautiful woman, very intelligent. That's a choice. Very intelligent. Oh, so it's <laughs> a choice that's now. You don't it understand. wasn't a choice two years ago when, when we had this conversation. But it, it, like, I think it is a choice. Okay. I haven't tried very hard. Okay. Well, I have, and it hasn't worked out. As I got older, I stopped feeling that need for a partner mm -hmm. and trying to fill that void and jam someone into that spot mm -hmm. that didn't fit there. Like, and maybe no one will ever fit there. With your arm. And that's all right. What am I a dick about? You like definitely tell me all the time that you think I should be putting myself out there more mm -hmm. and you can be very aggressive. You have not lived and then you have all these worries and shit and I'm just like, I'm very no. anxious. You have so many things going for you for you to be so timid about yeah, life. Yeah, true. I think I just catastrophize things and think that the worst thing's gonna happen so I just don't do it. Mm. Just ex experience life. Mm. What does your extra life experience give you that I don't have? I don't think you need to worry about not having a partner. I'm in a point of my life where the only missing thing is not having a partner. But is it missing or did someone tell you to have that list? Don't settle and try to jam someone in there because it yeah. will make life really unhappy and you're better off being by yourself to be quite yeah. honest. What is something I don't understand about you? I like my, my life experience in general, like I, I uh, come from a really like conservative background. Like literally before I left home, they sent me to a reformation camp for uh, gays. And when I tell you like do things, literally I gave my parents two weeks notice before I moved to Australia. Any experience that you are afraid of, do it. Okay. Have you ever had a sex dream about me? No. No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. You're not my type. <laughs> have you ever had a sex dream about me? Yes, I have. Okay. You were at the photocopier in the South Melbourne office being all <laughs> sexy. You were just photocopying things. Pretty raunchy sex dream photocopying. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most difficult thing we have ever gone through together? I have VKH, it's an autoimmune disease. Like I couldn't see, I could barely hear. Nothing was going right with me. And like I kind of shut myself off 
And she was like, well, I haven't seen you in a while, so I'm coming to see you. And then like- So we went to Starbucks. We went to Starbucks cried. and then just fucking cried. It was just so heartbreaking for me to know that like, you were suffering with this disease and I couldn't do anything about it. So I just wanted to be there for you. But like knowing that you're going through anything painful literally pains me. There's tears again. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. For being my friend. I love I'm you. So cute. I love you too. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kiss me. No, you're not ready for it. That would be weird. Like I'm so good at that. Okay. <laughs> Kat is doing a truth or drink game for Australia. Oh my yes. God. Yes. Aussie questions okay. up in here. Let's see. 